Did you ever go abroad with any other firms? Or? Yeah, I went with Tottenham once. I snuck out there when I weren't supposed to be out there. Went to Milan and got a row, but I didn't really rate them. We'd come down, got into their main boozer, and um, we, was in the, we were left 10 minutes before the end, got into their main pub. That was where, they were, where all their geezers were meant to be drinking. And um, they was had all their ultras there before the game. Went there after the game, 10 minutes before the end, got in there, Tottenham scored, Peter Kraut scored, got into the boozer, and we put like the Tottenham English flag on the, on the window. And my mate was like um, standing at the door going, oh, it's winners only, you're not allowed in here. Like in, in, on their pub, there's only 10 of us. We're the only English fans that were out. Everyone else was locked in the ground. They, they locked all the Tottenham fans inside. And I was thinking, wait, this is gonna, this is gonna come mad on top. This is gonna come on top. Like, and I was thinking, but well, fuck it, it's what it's for <laughs> like, This is what we come for, do you know what I'm saying? And um, there's just more and more people are coming. And the, 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 the barman was like, he could tell he was one of their boys. He was not happy about us being there. And then there was, must have been a good 100 people outside now. And uh, he's gone, now it's time to go. And I looked at him, I thought, yeah, fucking babies. <laughs> yeah. He goes, now you leave. He goes, finish your drinks. And I looked outside of my mate, um, uh, Martin as his brother, Clive. He, he, he's another, another, another game, game, game as a brother. He's, he's, um, he's bust the door. And uh, he's gone outside, f- like a punch has been thrown. And they sort of like half back off. And I'm just going, fuck it. Said, These cunts don't want it. Come steaming out. And um, gone straight into him, and they just all run off. And was chasing after him, like right, they was running off up the road. And then we walked to the station, and I thought this is going to come on top walking. I thought they've got a regroup, but they never come. I just don't think they had. They, they, they weren't the best for them. They never really had the arsehole for it. They just you could just tell they just thought these these English boys are nuts. You know what I mean? But they're like you, you, your Eastern European teams and your German teams and whatnot, they're they're all training to fight now. now so it's a bit of a different. Yeah, you got those Polish. Yeah, fuck me, man. I think they're all trained fucking martial arts experts. Yeah, that's the thing. And do you know what I mean? And this is what this is what's happening now. Is like, bods are going out there to like, bods are t- Tottenham are going out to like Europe, and like, a couple of times if they've had they've had altercations and everyone. Do you know what? Everyone hates Tottenham. I don't know, like <laughs> I, they, they, they they doing that. Do you Probably know what? Because you support yeah, them, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it ain't it ain't because fucking because of the football because we're shit. <laughs> it ain't because of the football. So it's got to be something else. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, they just like just despite it. Like we we like everyone was jumping on this. Oh, Tottenham got a few incidents happened in Europe. People were saying, oh, Tottenham with the punch bags of Europe. I'm sitting there like I'm going. I'm banned. I'm not allowed to go to Europe. I'm sitting there going, punch bags of Europe. What are you talking about? I was like, we we was the first team to take it to Europe. I said, like we're fucking. We've been one of the, probably one in the top three firms in England for fucking however long.